So emotion junkie, certainly. Uh, adrenaline, no, this is what you don't want. Endorphin junkie, certainly. This is what you look for down there. You look for this pleasure, you look for those emotions that don't come to the surface usually and down there they come right under your skin. And this is what's amazing about it, it's just how can something so inhospitable can be so welcoming in a way, can be so warm in a way, despite the cold. My name is uh, Frédéric Janon. I live in Crete with my companion Lisa and my daughter Maya. The garden we have, uh, Lisa, Maya and I, is uh, an excellent way to be more uh, self-reliant. Uh, we believe that uh, this is uh, the future for our family at least. So in the winter time I've got other activities, I work with my hands, I've got a little workshop that I've been setting here where I create jewelry out of natural materials. I try to work on natural materials like uh, olive wood uh, to create some shapes out of uh, the history books I study uh, and I use for that different materials like wood, uh, pebbles from the beach that I collect with Maya which is kind of a little game on its own. Uh, we love very much to come all of us here with Maya and Lisa uh, because it offers those advantages that we can uh, just have a little free dive nicely in deep water but it's also very much enjoyable for Maya because we are here in very shallow water, very clear, uh, a lot of fishes around, uh, some shells also which is always a delight for a little girl. Uh, so this is a privileged spot for all the family, not only for free diving. I come from, I, I guess, a normal background. Studies, degrees, diplomas, uh, life in a big city, a uh, big corporation, uh, a part of the machine. And uh, I think at the point I was a good part of that machine. Uh, nevertheless, I realized one day I was that part of the machine and I didn't perhaps want it to be a part of any machine anymore. So I decided basically to reborn and this is really what it is for me to travel because I'm traveling now for a long time and every time you move place, it's like you're reborn. I've been studying extensively history at university and being in Crete gave me the opportunity to uh, study this history firsthand and uh, for once out of the books. It is always dangerous business than to work with the sea. That it is above or beneath the surface. The more I dive, the more I realize that even if my main concern is the marine species and their observation, I need the depth and I need to dive deep. Uh, it is a kind of addiction. The dive itself is just a, a prolongation of the mind and um, my mind at the surface uh, is uh, thinking also at a point to Maya and uh, preparing myself well is ensuring myself to come up for her.
you don't uh, dive so deep for a little while you 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 miss it you really want you to go deep you want to go deeper than that uh, you surprise yourself scratching the sand on the bottom like if it was not enough The mind is very important. You have to be relaxed. You can't go under water stressed. Uh, because the stress under there is gonna cost you oxygen, time, and this is what you don't want. The lack of oxygen creates strange things in your mind. So a lot of feelings, emotions are passing through. Sometimes some feelings you can't even identify. You say, I didn't even know I could be like that. And in the dark, alone, in the cold, you feel a tenderness and you want to reach that bottom. You want to embrace it. The risk of diving is dying. This is the final issue. This is what you don't want. This is what you have to be aware of every time you dive, no matter the depth. Five meters deep, 10 meters deep, 30, 40 meters deep, you still focus the same way. I still focus the same way. I still take the same time. I, I want to prepare myself without to go down. I'm not going down on something uh, that I, I think I can rely on. I have to get ready mentally. It's 50% psychologic for me. that comes to you when you break up the surface is, okay, I'm safe, I'm at the surface, I'm breathing, everything is all right, and then, whoa, what was that? What I saw down there, what I felt down there. You wanna go back straight away. 